What's up guys? Welcome to the infographic design channel. Today we are going to draw a human face in Microsoft PowerPoint that can be used and in different ways like you can use it as an infographic slide, you can use it as an icon, and you can use it as an explanatory element. You can draw a portrait or a human face in Microsoft PowerPoint in three different approaches. First approach, open the browser and Google for human face icon. Now draw a rectangle shape over the image. Right click and add a point so that you can align the rectangle lines to the shape lines. This can take several minutes in order to align those lines perfectly. So I speed up the video a little bit otherwise the video will get longer so I need to make a shorter video otherwise the viewers will get bored. Why we are doing this? Because we cannot use a picture directly. That's because it's a picture, it's an image, and the images are not editable like a PowerPoint shape, and you cannot work with it as you work on a shape in the PowerPoint. In the meantime, there is no way to convert the image to a shape in Microsoft PowerPoint itself. You will need another software for it, which is another scenario. As an editor, you need to do everything in PowerPoint yourself because you need to be creative and you need to make your own unique elements and shape and items. In this method, you can convert any image to PowerPoint shape very easily. You need to work with those points a little bit and that's it. This method will help you make any kind of shape and logo. Okay, here you go. You have the perfect human face shape in PowerPoint format. Now you can edit it very easily. In second approach, you're drawing what you're seeing. Like a, I have a human head shape here. I want to see it and draw it like just like this. So <clears throat> this approach is only for advanced user or the user they know how to sketch a portrait. So if you are a beginner user or you are new to PowerPoint or new to graphic designing, so you can go to the first approach because that's very easy and simple there is no need for the skills you don't need to have any skill you don't need to have any uh, drawing skills 
you're just making a carbon copies. Third and final approach, this method is the most difficult because you draw things from your mind. You need to know how to sketch. If you have any question, please comment below. And if you want to hear more from us, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here you go. We have three different human heads now. This one, this one, and this one. 